Hey everyone, this is Randy from BibleBuyingGuide.com. In a previous video, we looked at the Thompson Chain Reference Bible KJV in the Premier Collection in Goatskin. And that is a very nice Bible. And now, I have the regular edition in several different covers and several different sizes. So we're going to take a look at those. And we'll also compare them with your originals and just take a look at, at all of them. Okay, now the main difference between the regular edition and the Premier Collection. Premier Collection has... 36 GSM paper and it is in uh, black letter. The regular edition is in 30 GSM paper and then it is red letter. So we'll, we'll take a look at all of them and I'm just going to start with the regular size, what I call the standard or regular size. And I have it in imitation or leather soft in burgundy. It also comes in a couple other colors, I think. But here I have the burgundy. It looks like leather. It really does. You can give that to a lot of people and they would never know the difference. It has a little bit of color variation, which I prefer. I like the little bit of variation in color. I don't like solid colors so much. And it's got a lot of green in there. It looks like looks like a, a cow skin or something. It looks good. On the front, we have a cross and a frame printed in gold. Perimeter stitching. On the spine, a block design with our text printed in gold. And then vinyl liner, paste down. And then all the content is exactly the same as the Premier Collection that we looked at earlier. These are made in these are made in China. Now I've not used this one, so the paper is still stuck together. So we'll go through some of the others. We'll I'll show you the one I have used. And this one is a red letter edition. Just a quick thumb through here. So I'll show you the one that I have used. And gold gilt edges, a burgundy ribbon for the Old Testament, and a gold ribbon for the New Testament. I like the look of that one. It looks really good. Now the one I have used is the genuine leather. This is calfskin. Nothing printed on the front. Four raised Spine hubs, the block design printed in gold, pebbly green. It looks like cowhide. To me, this looks very much like cowhide. Of course, it is calfskin, so it is a form of cowhide. Perimeter stitching, edge lined leather. So, major improvement here. Gilt line around the inside perimeter. And this one, let me move these out of the way and show you. This one stays open really well. This is the one that I've used. It does have art gilt edges, brown ribbon for the Old Testament and gold for the New Testament. It stays open really well. And this one I have turned every page and separated all the pages and used it. The paper is 30 GSM. It is a little bit, has a little bit more show through than I'd like. But it's mostly, mostly noticeable where there's nothing printed on the other side of the page and it is printed with line matching so the lines are printed in the same location on both sides of the page that does help improve readability it looks really good so this is a nine and a half point font easy to read lots of space between the lines lots of space between the text just has a lot more a lot cleaner design the lines have been removed it's just has more white space it's a lot easier to use a lot easier to see there's one of those squares to show the end of the chain so here you see the end of a chain there you see the beginning of a chain so you can know at a glance that it's the end or beginning see this one does not include translation footnotes and also it does not include the revised version notes all of the chains that are in the margins are in the back, and all the chains that are in the back are in the margins. So all of that's been completed. So all the chains have been updated and, and fixed and completed. This is a six point for the notes for the chain references. Quick look at the size. About six and seven eighths by nine and seven eighths by one and three quarters and three pounds around three ounces paper is easy to grab and turn 
no issues turning it. Red text for the section headings, red and bold for the paragraph markers. All the other verse numbers are in black. And then we have the same material in the margin that we have in any Thompson, which shows us our parallel passages, it shows us our topics, the topic numbers, and the reference to the next verse in the topic. A triangle shows that it's the beginning of a chain. A square shows it's the end of a chain. Across the top we have the uh, page summary in the inner margin in red, page number in the center, and then book name, chapter number, and verse number in the outer margin. This one is easy to use, stays open really well. Doesn't go too far into the gutter. Book introduction. This used to be in the back as the book analysis, but now it's brought to the beginning of the book as a book introduction. There's a red letter. Contrast between the Testaments. Comprehensive Bible helps. Principles of Bible study. Best methods of study. The alphabetical index of topics. Just look up the topic you want to alphabetically. And it will give you the, the number, the topic number. Turn to the numerical index. And look, at, look up the topical number. And then it gives you the topics and subtopics. The topic name. And then if it's named something else in the margin, it'll, it'll have a little M there, and it'll give you the margin name. And, and this gives you a lot of information. The references for the most prominent are in red, and these are found in the margins, and then others are found in black, and then also printed in full. So you can look at them here to find if, if it's what you're looking for, then go to the margin to see it in context and to see more information, see more, more things that this verse is broken down into really great for study. It's good for preachers, pastors, teachers, and for laymen. Good for anybody. Now I've done some deep dives into the Thompson for Zondervan on their channel. So if you go to their channel, Zondervan, and just look for Thompson Chain Reference Bible, you'll see several videos where I step through this on how to use it. And it doesn't make any difference what the translation is for the Thompson system because it works the same regardless. So you can use information from one with the other. Now the difference between the KJV is that all the words that are in the margin are from the KJV. So for example if you're using the NIV you might have a different word but the topic is the same. The topic number is the same. And then condensed outline of the Bible Lots of tables all the way back through here. Periods of biblical history, Bible characters and studies. All this has been updated. The information is still the same as what it used to be. But now we have new illustrations, new text, new typeface, I mean. Prominent characters classified. Outline history of the apostles. Messianic prophecies and their fulfillment. Bible harmonies and illustrated studies. New maps. The information is the same as the original. But they're just cleaner and easier to read. And then a lot of the maps have the text taken off of the map and set aside so that it's easier to see and read. You'll see some of that as I go through. Lots of tables. There's Harmony of Gospels. Overview of Jesus' Life. Nice timeline. Here's one of those maps I was talking about where the information is taken off of the map and placed separately. Make th this makes them easier to see and read. Jesus in his hours upon the cross. Jesus' post-resurrection appearances. Overview of Paul's life. Now what's missing from this section, they, they took away the portraits of Christ. So those little thumbnail paintings, they're gone. A lot of the charts and things like that have been remade. Um, outline history of the early church so a lot of those like messianic stars and things like that have been remade into different types of tables and, and that sort of thing distance between distance and miles between Old Testament cities this was 
a map before and it gave you Jerusalem and it was distance from Jerusalem but now it's a table topical treasury one of my favorite tools Christian workers text another excellent tool memory verses aids to memorization places of religious worship and religious leaders Hebrew times seasons and festivals and then the KJV concordance decent concordance it doesn't have proper names it does have Jesus but it doesn't have other proper names here's how many entries it has for God so quite a few and then Godhead godliness godly quite a few entries it's good for study color map index I love when they include a map index it just makes maps easier to use so it gives you the maps and it tells you the divisions six different divisions for the map index so if you're looking for something you look in the division you're looking for and then look it up alphabetically and then it gives you the the map number and the grid location makes maps a lot easier to use I like that I'd like to see all study Bibles and well all all reference Bibles have a map index 13 pages of lined paper for notes and this is the regular 30 GSM Bible paper and then the Zondervan maps printed on thick semi-glossy paper and that is the quick overview of the Thompson by Zondervan they've done an excellent job with this I like this a lot so let's do a quick comparison with the Kirkbride edition this is from the last run made by Kirkbride. This one was actually printed in China for Christian book. The price was too good and I couldn't pass it up. So here is how they look and compare. Footprint is almost the same. So we have the older design in its 8 point font and then the newer design in its 9.5 point font. And here's how they compare. I very much like the new one. One of my problems with the Thompson originally was that the font, it was a little bit too small for me. And it was also too thin. And I wanted a larger, darker font. And that's actually part of why I started Bible Buying Guide. I was actually looking for a replacement to my Thompson. And here we are full circle. Right back to the Thompson with a larger print and a darker font that I was wanting to begin with. Better red. So everything that's in the Thompson now has been improved. So here's, here's how the older Thompson looked. Just thumb through it real quick. There's the indexes. give you just a quick look at how they compare how this one looked I always like the Thompson and but I do like the improvements in the new one outlines the older looking charts the information is the same some of it's just been replaced with the uh, newer designs This has been moved. I'll show you that in a minute. Some of the charts. Some of the older maps. There's those portraits I was talking about that's been moved. Been removed. There's the prophecies of Jesus. There's the older maps. Old designs. Archaeological supplement has been removed. It was out of date material. And then there's the glossary, which has also been removed. I'd like to see the glossary added back. And then the concordance. There's its index and then maps. So that's a quick look at the original Thompson and how it compares to the new one. So next let's look at the handy size just to give you an idea of the size difference this one is an eight point font and this is the bonded leather 
It's a stiffer cover. Also has a vinyl paste down liner. A little bit more difficult to stay open. And I went ahead and got the thumb index because I do need to show you the thumb index anyway. So I did that one for the handy size. And just like the NIV, this has a little extra space down at the bottom. It does stay open well once you get far enough into the text. There it is. And close to the end of Genesis, no trouble at all staying open there. All the content's the same. Paper's the same. There's a table, rulers of the divided kingdom. There's the red letter. I like this one because it's easy to hold open and use and carry. I prefer the handy size. My eyes prefer the regular size. If I could get by with it, I would use the handy size. And I was wanting to show you the uh, I want to show you Romans. So there's Romans. Has an illustration. So the size of this one is five and a half by eight seven eighths by one and three quarters. And here's how it compares to the regular size. And then we'll go ahead and compare the text. And I'll show red letter since they are red letter. Now let's compare it to the original. And for that one, I'm going to use the, the Zondervan edition that came out last year. There's the overall size. And the Zondervan edition from last year is the Kirkbride Files, but printed by Zondervan, and then with a slightly darker red letter. So there's its red. There's how they compare. So I do recommend the Comfort Print a lot. And the handy size weighs two pounds, 4.4 ounces. So next is the large print, and I'm gonna go ahead and compare it to both of the other sizes. The large print is a 10 and a half font, and there's the difference in footprint. Quite a bit difference. And the 10.5 point font is large and dark, and I like it. The block is larger than I'd like to carry, but still, it's excellent. So here's how they compare. Like before, the content in the paper is the same. And here is the regular size, the standard size, versus the large print. Ten and a half point font versus the nine and a half point font. Now, the original large print had the same size font as the current regular size. And I like that a lot. So here's how the here's how these compare. So now we have a regular size with a larger larger and darker font than the original large print. And that just makes the regular size that much easier to grab and use. It's extremely soft, looks smooth. It's got a little bit of a pebbly green to it. Nothing printed on the front, perimeter stitching. Four raised spine hubs with the same block design as the others. And this one is also leather lined, edge lined, with the gold gilt line around. Stays open really well. 
art gilt edges. There's how it stays open. Now I prefer reading this one. That large font just looks amazing. Content is the same in all of them. Paper is the same all the way around. And the large print is about seven and a half by ten and seven eighths ish by one and three quarters and it weighs three pounds right at 12 ounces now let's compare it to last year's large print from Zondervan using the Kirkbride files footprints the same mostly same-ish they're both very flexible so it's really hard to compare So there's the red letter versus the red letter. Yeah, this this comfort print is a lot easier to read, a lot easier to see, more opacity on the paper. It just looks better, looks cleaner, all around better design. And finally, I want to show the new edition compared to the new Premier Collection edition. So we have calfskin versus goatskin. And we also have 30 GSM paper versus 36 GSM paper. So here is how they compare. And the difference you're going to see in, in footprint is the yap it's got a little bit of a yap there and then this the perimeter the premier collection is going to be a little thicker it's kind of hard to tell but it is thicker and I'm sure you can already tell they're both of them are very flexible and this one is a black letter edition a lot more opacity on that paper the font is the same So there's how they compare. Now the Premier Collection is a heavier Bible, but I do like the paper better. I do find the paper good enough in the regular edition, and it is light enough difference. I'll show you the weight. I've got a scale right here. We might as well look at it. We have three pounds, 12 and a half ounces. versus three pounds three ounces so for just using them at the table at my desk sitting in my lap I would grab this one every time I would grab the premier collection I just like that paper that much better for carrying around I'd probably grab the regular edition it's a little bit lighter the opacity is good enough although it's not as good as the premier collection that's to be expected because you're talking about the regular paper versus a premium paper and it also comes down to red letter versus black letter it's just what you like and I do like that they give you a few choices I wouldn't mind seeing um, the premier collection in red letter and the regular edition in black letter but you got to draw a line somewhere you can't have it all so that is my quick look at the Thompson chain reference Bible in several covers and several sizes in KJV comfort print I like this design I like it a lot if I could only have one I probably would grab the regular size edition in calfskin I just like that overall size and feel that's a good one all of them are good you can't go wrong with any of them in my opinion if you if you really like the more elegant especially the more premium paper the premier collection is your best bet and if you want even larger print, there's the large print edition. It's easy to read, built well. Construction quality on these are amazing. And then there's the handy size. This is the one I prefer to handle. 
I just I just always liked a handy size Bible. And here's the handy size versus the original. Just to give you an idea. The handy size versus the original. Uh, regular size. So if you're okay with the font size on the regular size, but you want something a little darker with a bit better paper, go, go for the handy size. It's available in several cover options as well. So that is my quick look at the Thompson Chain Reference Bible from Zondervan in KJV. I highly recommend this Bible. It is excellent for Bible study, excellent for sermon prep, excellent for preaching from. It's a clean text. No distractions in the text. It's excellent for personal study. Excellent for group study. I highly recommend it. One of my favorite Bibles you can get. Zondervan has done a, an excellent job at this design. I really like it. If I can make one change, I'd like to see the glossary added back. They did remove the glossary from, from the back. I'd like to see it added back in. I think that would make a difference in Bible study, especially for the KJV. The KJV does have a lot of words that have changed in meaning. And you can get a lot of other tools that explain those words. But that means then that you have to have an, an outside resource rather than just the Thompson. You know, if I can make one change, I would add the glossary back in. Other than that, that's really my only complaint. So Zondervan did supply all of these in exchange for an honest review. And that is my, my honest review. I will place links in the notes so that you can make a purchase if you're interested. Also a link to BibleBuyingGuide.com to the written review where I always go into more detail and give you lots of photos. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.